EVAP systems. You might have heard of it in your cars, but did you know that your motorcycle have their own version too? Let's break it down in this video. So what does this EVAP stands for? It's short for Evaporative Emission Control System. Essentially, it is a system designed to capture and store fuel vapors that would otherwise be released into the atmosphere. Now why is that important? Well, besides being environment friendly, it also helps improve fuel efficiency and prevent fuel orders. EVAP system has been required for all petrol vehicles since 1970s and in India, since the implementation of BS4, it is made mandatory for all the vehicles to have EVAP system in their motorcycle. This right here is the heart of the EVAP system, the charcoal canister. It is filled with activated charcoal which acts like a sponge for fuel vapors. When your bike is running or when you refuel, fuel vapors are directed towards the canister instead of being released into the air. Now let's understand how this entire system works. In your fuel tank, when you refuel, you might have seen some vapors coming out of your fuel tank. Or even in the case when your fuel is idle or squashing around or even when you place your motorcycle on direct sunlight, the liquid fuel vaporizes and starts to move up. The fuel cap of this EVAP equipped motorcycles is very special since it has a vent which collects this vapor and redirects it through a hose that is there in the bottom of the tank. This hose then gets connected to the charcoal canister that is located somewhere on your motorcycle. Since the charcoal canister has activated charcoal, it acts like a sponge and stores all the fuel vapors. Once you turn on your engine, due to the vacuum created by the piston, these fuel vapors are redirected to the engine from the charcoal canister. But there is a problem. These fuel vapors are free to move in and out without any control. To avoid this, a purge valve is being added from the canister to the engine's hose. This purge valve acts like a one-way valve which allows the fuel vapor to move only in one direction and prevents it from going back to the charcoal canister. Now you might have noticed that there are two more ports that is vacant in the charcoal canister. Out of this two left out port, the bigger one is for air vent and the smaller port acts as a drain port. This little guy here is a purge control valve. It's responsible for regulating the flow of vapors from the canister to the intake manifold. If this valve malfunctions, you might have issues like rough idling or decreased fuel efficiency. Now these EVAP systems are of two types. The basic one is mechanical type and more advanced one is completely electronically controlled. Understanding your motorcycle's EVAP system is important for troubleshooting any issues you might encounter. From checking your clogged hoses to testing the integrity of the charcoal canister, regular maintenance is key to ensuring everything is running smoothly. And there you have it folks. A detailed video of EVAP systems in motorcycles. It may not be the glamorous part of your bike, but it plays a crucial role in keeping our air clean and our rides efficient. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe for more motorcycle tips and tricks and ride safe out there. As usual, if you like this video, do consider subscribing to Archeonics and follow on Instagram for more such interesting content.